Hello guys. So, uh, I've, I've read your comments on my last video when I pretty much expressed the idea that the only way to save the current MK Mobile game is to make a new MK Mobile game that wouldn't have any of the issues of this game. But uh, maybe there is a way to fix the existing game. So today I'm gonna propose three features in MK Mobile game that would, in my opinion, make the game really good and also wouldn't make it super unfair and super easy, but also might still generate some revenue to the developers. So, feature number one. We have Relic Hunt, right? Or Shao Kahn Tower. What if we have Relic Hunt for all diamond cards? Let's say every week we have a new Relic Hunt with the new towers, with the new bosses, like each diamond card you will have to face, let's say, that diamond in, in the tower. I don't know, Relic Hunt or Shao Kahn Tower? One of those. But Shao Kahn Tower has way too much battles and there is like only three battles a day. I think, Sh I think Relic Hunt would work the best for you for, for this. The same exact system as we have a sh with Shao Kahn, you have fragments. So what if you were to complete those uh, relic hunts and collect relics for different diamond characters? For example, uh, Revenus Melina relic hunt will give you Revenus Melina fragments. Or maybe you just get generic fragments that you can spend uh, on any diamond card. Like you've been, for example, you can grind some relic hunts, collect points, and then when the character that you want to get comes out, you just spend all your uh, relic hunt points to unlock the character and maybe fuse him. But no, actually, that that's probably a little bit cheaty. I think they should they should make the the fragments for for the specific character. Like for example, this week we have classic Liu Kang relic hunt. So the relics that we get are gonna be uh, locked to classic Liu Kang and only can be used to unlock classic Liu Kang. And it can be the same amount. So. Newer players will probably not be able to do it within one Relic Hunt uh, or maybe the next fusions. The higher fusion the card is in your collection, the more points it should take to uh, to upgrade him. Like for example, you got a bunch of classic looking from the pack. He's at fusion 9 and you want to get the last fusion. So it will take like a thousand points from the Relic Hunt to max him out. Uh, compared to, for example, 100 points to just get one fusion. It's still going to be insane grind. But at least it's something new to do in the game, something like uh, weekly. I feel like people would grind this mode insanely. You can even make it more towers or more battles in the tower. You can make it more difficult, like make crazy requirements. Like for the last tower, Shao Kahn has a uh, Fusion 7 Outworld characters requirement. Make it like Fusion 7 spec ops for some other... Di like, make it ridiculously difficult so uh but but still first few towers make it reasonable like pretty much kind of like relic hunt is i would argue that relic hunt is pretty easy once you're in end game but like what if you add maybe two more towers that have even more ridiculous requirement and much more difficult but they give you more points so end game players can get more points than beginner players but still everybody can get points and if you're willing to grind you'll be able to unlock the diamonds that you want eventually. I think this will not break the game tremendously, but it will give a lot of players opportunities to unlock the characters that they want, the diamond characters th that they want. One of the biggest problems in the game, in my opinion, is um, how crazy difficult are diamond cards to get, especially some of them. Some of them are still not available for souls and only available in paid packs, which is honestly a big problem. All right, this is the feature number two. Now, I mean, feature number one. The feature number two would be a special diamond pack. Like we had elite diamond packs, but I would argue that it, it current, in current economy, uh, the elite pack like we used to have probably would be too overpowered and people would not even open any other pack. But what if you make that pack, let's say, Let's say it should it should cost let's say 1000 souls. It's just an example. And it would have let's say for 1000 souls it will have uh I would even agree with 
20%. 20% to get diamond characters. Maybe 25. Half of that will be one specific diamond that will rotate every day or every couple of days. And the rest is gonna be random diamond characters. So people can actually kinda target specific diamonds that they don't have maxed out, for example. But still, like... They will still have like 10% chance to get a random diamond card, but another 10% chance is gonna be to get the diamond they actually want. Because, uh, just getting... Or maybe make it like 3000 souls, but make it guaranteed diamond card. And it doesn't even have to be the, the diamond, the specific diamond card, just make it a guaranteed diamond card. And maybe like, have an increased chance in rotation, like... Today, there is, for example, increased chance to get this diamond. Tomorrow, there's gonna be increased chance to get this diamond. I understand why they don't want to do this, because they still haven't patched the game. There is still ways to hack souls. And I don't understand why they didn't fix it. Like, it's ridiculous. They basically... They can't implement all these features, because there is always gonna be people who will get unlimited souls. But if they fixed the souls hacking issue, they would... They could easily release this kind of pack and people would wail out people would spend money on souls because they would want they would see the opportunity to max out a specific diamond they want so people will spend money and open that pack and they're gonna open the game every day to check which diamond is currently increased chances so they will probably even play some and maybe even decide to purchase something else since they're playing every day. So this is a win-win, in my opinion. I would honestly spend money if there was a pack that would give me a... It, it, again, it's, it's gonna be super unfair again, because it's probably gonna be like 5% chance to get the diamond that you want. It should be at least 5% increased chance. But at least it will give you guaranteed diamond, and even if it's expensive, I, I know people spend 5,000 souls without getting a single diamond, and if they do, they probably get a diamond they didn't want. So I think the pack like this would, would be a win-win for players and for developers. Okay, feature number three. This game lacks social aspect. We used to have alliance system. If you guys don't remember, you could pretty much friend people in the game, and you would get alliance tokens based on, uh, I think it was based on how many friends you have. You would get alliance tokens that you could spend on alliance pack that would give you some goodies. It was a horrible pack, it, it had garbage in it, but the point was that there was a little bit of a social aspect. I'm thinking, what if they add some kind of raids into the game? Raid mode, where you have powerful bosses. They could be, like, literally the bosses from the game with uh, OP stats, like, for example, plus 1,000 health. 1,000% 1, health. And uh, people could join alliances and group together and defeat those bosses together. For example, they could you could just, like, you have a couple of tries every day, uh, and you probably, you could have some ch character requirements, so you could only go into the, this particular raid with these particular characters. And people just would put, like, you would break your gear and break your characters, for example, until the end of the season or something like this, so you, so people don't just use their strongest team all the time. Kind of like Injustice 2 Mobile, the raid system. So people would just come in and do collective damage to bosses. It's like bosses... Maybe even boss teams in the towers, it doesn't have to be one boss, it can be boss team. And you just come in, do as much damage as possible, and then, uh, like, depending on the rankings in the end of the season or something like this, you give people some rewards. Maybe even, uh, I think that the best rewards for, for, for this kind of raids would be some system where you would be, uh, get some points that you could spend on tower gear, because Tower gear is probably the second most desirable, if not the first most desirable thing in this game. And having a shop just for tower gear would be amazing, but it should be something new. It should be some new currency, some new game mode to grant you those points that you can spend on tower gear. And in my opinion, raids and alliances would keep this, would make this game alive. Because people would join alliances, people would be able to do things together in the game. Like, they would again log in every day just so they don't get kicked from the alliance for not doing damage. 
just do the same things you did in Injustice 2. Uh, do it in Mortal Kombat Mobile. I think it's gonna elevate the game so much. Again, it's not really... I know a lot of people want the old store. A lot of people want to have uh, real-time PvP in this game. Those things are not realistic. Those things are not gonna happen. Guys, their servers can't even handle a lot of people logging in at the same time. Imagine their servers trying to handle uh, real-time live PvP. There is just no way, and I'm, I'm not even expecting this. I'm okay with this game to, to have no live PvP, but it has to have some more game modes. I'm playing Marvel Contest Revolution. There is like 10 game modes every day that you can grind for different resources to make your characters stronger. In Mortal Kombat Mobile, when there is a tower, tower is a good thing to grind. You get in the tower, you grind it, and then maybe some survival to get some points, and that's it! And all of it is just to get more diamonds, but you're still gonna use the same teams you always use, so... I think these three features, if at least one of these features gets added in the next update, I think the game will be so much better. Honestly, I'm the most excited about the raids and alliances. I think that would be super cool. And it would work just fine in Mortal Kombat. It will not break the game. They already have mechanics for all of this. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too difficult to implement. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think about these features. And maybe you have uh, your own feature that you would like to see into the, in the game. Just be reasonable. The features should benefit both players and developers. Don't, don't just say, like, give us free diamonds or something like that. We, we, need, we need to keep in mind that if the game stops making enough money to support development team at least, plus bring some profits to, uh, to Warner Brothers, they will just shut it down. And that's not something we want. We want to find the middle ground between player satisfaction and developer satisfaction. So... Anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to reading your comments, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 400,000 subscribers. Let's hit it by the end of September. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.